Who is this guy? JD. Oh, this JD? <laughs> I'm not JD Harmar. He's your media producer. JD and I have the exact same taste. JD and I have a mutual friend. JD, you have celebrity friends. I mean, I, 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 a couple. I'm your wingman. I'm here to set you up. We can have a normal conversation. Uh oh, uh, okay. <laughs> We're trying to get your motherfucking mind right. We want to get you right. Anytime I talk about interacting with a celebrity, it's all oh, Hollywood Harmar. Hollywood Harmar over there. <laughs> I'll show you how much of a fan he is. I'll give him a quiz on the show. You're not going to know this, though. Right. Who's the host of the intern show? Oh, uh, uh, shit. You're not going to know that. JD. No, JD. Not no. JD. No, no. Uh, <laughs> I want to meet JD. Guess who, guess who <laughs> ma uh, mentioned me on the show? JD, come on in. Let Ryan meet you. <laughs> <laughs> this is He's new. had the opposite life you've had. You might be able to get me in the China Club. <laughs> yeah, baby, I could. I Do think you know I what could. happened to him the other night? <laughs> no, See, Ryan, this would never happen. I did kind of hear this story. Yeah. yeah, JD was on the internet with some. And he shit. had a girl he was going to meet there. She put him on the list. Put him on the list. He got there and they wouldn't let him in because he was a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you didn't drop the stern? You didn't, like, say... No, um, no, I, I don't like to do... That I mean, should be your go-to. I, I, I don't, don't want to like be that douchey. Shot. I feel like a douche if I did that. That's Oof. what makes you feel like a douche? <laughs> 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 Thanks. The most unbelievable thing I heard is J.D. and Ryan Philippe hooked up. <laughs> Ryan Philippe and, and J.D.? So how do you hook up with Ryan Philippe? Well, I saw him, and, and uh, he goes, yeah, we, uh, I'll take you out, you know, buy drinks and stuff. <laughs> we go in a club. At one point, Ryan introduces me to some hot chick. Yeah. <laughs> and I go, hey, you know, how you doing? You know, my name's JD and whatever. And, <laughs> and the chick uh, asked Ryan, you know, why are you introducing me to him? <laughs> the chick asked Ryan, you know, how long have you known each other? And Ryan goes, like, you know, like a week and a half. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so the chick goes, uh, hey, you know, this is my sister over here. <laughs> so I meet your sister and I go, hey, how you doing? And. And the sister goes, oh, you know what? I got to go over here for a second. I'll be right back. And she split. Both either. chicks walk away. And it was just, it was like. Oh, that right. was it for the night? Yeah. Another yeah. great they're, they're night. Close. Hey, at least you got to talk to chicks. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to meet J.D., I'll introduce you to him. I'd love to. You want to meet him? I would love J.D., to. J.D., come in and say hello to Will Arnett. He's a fan of yours. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Your dream boot has arrived. What? Nothing else. I ain't got to arrive. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> All right, goodbye. Say you something to Will Arnett oh, no. that he can understand so he can take it with him. Don't back off your point. Man. Yeah, what did you say? I was just saying your dream boat has arrived. Like, you know, oh, your dream boat has arrived. Nothing. Uh, it was yeah. dumb. No, it was Don't not think, dumb. It was dumb. Will, you obviously have a good fashion sense. Don't you think this, this kid could sort of clean himself up a little yeah. bit? And by the way, it wouldn't take a lot of money. No. You could go to Urban Outfitters. Look at those pants. <sighs> JD, the jeans. What? Come on, man. What? Old man <laughs> jeans. Limp Biscuit is done, right? <laughs> hey, I like the Nookie song. Is the facial hair working for him? I think it's it No, it's, it's not that effective. But, you know, it wouldn't take much. <laughs> I'm not looking to be effective. No, but he's a, he, he's, he's a, he's a good person. That you shines know? through. This is just a manifestation of, of some sort of... <laughs> don't you don't know. feel like you're deserving of good clothes or a good look. Well, I, don't, I don't know about that. Yeah. Just, yeah. I, well, he's I, getting I into do. something I, maybe, I know I, a lot I, about that. Talk, talk to Will. Talk man to man. He's, you know what? Robin, come on. You know no, this. no, 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 forget about it. We We've tried. been trying to yeah, talk, talk to him. him. We've been trying well, to talk to him. You just said hit into something. If I knew you better, I'd say, hey, JD is a friend of mine, and I don't like to see you treat him this way. <laughs> say that. Stop right? giggling and what? listen. Yes. Do what Will says. I think this guy's on to well, something. Say, I'm not a friend of mine? No. What? Help I would out. say that JD is a friend of mine. <laughs> JD is a friend of mine. So stop being mean to so him. So stop being mean to him. That's it. Obviously, your social skills are constantly. Uh, Belittled on the show. Yes, yes, you know, yes. Tongue tied and incoherent and incomprehensible to a lot of people. Yes. Would you be willing to hang out with JD? I can actually turn him into a pimp. I would like to situate you. No, I don't want and, to be situated. I'll be much happier away I would from situations. I would like to you help know what him. his name is? I would like the to help shitty him. situation. <laughs> Vern, what is it with him? You could see his demeanor, right? Is it that he's a sad sack? No or? confidence. What is yeah. it? Just be yourself. No, that's the problem. You admit <laughs> himself. himself. That's bad advice for him. JD and I have a mutual friend. This girl is smitten with JD. Nothing has happened. If you get a little bit of confidence, I think you have a real shot there. She likes me as a friend, Jerry. I don't look at people directly. If you don't look at people directly, you say, do whatever you want. Treat me how you want. Take what you want. I'll take whatever's left over. You're right. Just look people in the eye. All right. I have a positive outlook. Do a little shave. Go to the gym. All look. right. Uh, listen, I want to be a filmmaker. Make a film. I know. I know, George. I know. You need that passion. 
the want to do. You can't just dream. You've got to do it. Can I leave, please? He didn't know how to use chopsticks, and so we were going to teach him how to use chopsticks. And he spent an hour and change trying to learn how to use chopsticks. <laughs> we will totally change the outfit. New shoes, some jeans. I will get him a haircut, no, some not... gel. Have you cut your fucking hair yet? Have you ever thought about getting an astringent for oily skin? You fuck. Were you shocked when JD announced he hadn't washed his sheets for a year? It kind of irks me. At that point, you're dealing with feces, semen, blood. JD, tell <laughs> Seth how long you went. A year. <laughs> Once a week, bro. You shouldn't be living in New York City. I can see you in rural Pennsylvania. You get like a nice old colonial house <laughs> and get like a cello in your room. Oh, he plays cello every afternoon from four to six. Uh, don't I, disturb JD then, you know. I don't want to hear any much. much. I you can you much can't take this. Uh, JD's walking <laughs> He's out. He's walking you, again. You, you, got you try to offer him help. <laughs> JD went to Los Angeles to direct an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Well, scene. Not, a, scene, full, not yeah. a full episode yet. I mean, the only sort of fuck-ups, if you want to call them fuck-ups, when you're supposed to yell action, you would yell go. Well, I did that once. Once. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, Why I, did you abandon action? I don't, it's just whatever came to mind. <laughs> you did sound uh, excited when you called for action, though. That's a very powerful thing. Action. I think he could have been a little more enthusiastic for the actors. <laughs> Sorry. Let's take a get when uh, Frank comes back in. What? So you want to pick it up? Yeah. So Roland, you want to pick it up from? Hang on, guys. Sounds like they got an interpreter there. <laughs> First AD. So Jamie, why don't we take it from the top? All right, take it, take it from the top. Take, take it from the top. That's fine. Right. Totally ignored your direction. Yeah, they changed the whole thing. They asked your opinion. You said, no, take it from the line. And then, then, then they just said, take it from the top. All right, I'll take it from the top. I'm right. an easygoing director. Sounds like the assistant director's butting heads with you. <laughs> right. Hey, fuck you. I told you to take it from the line. <laughs> How did they introduce you to, like, Danny DeVito? Like, how do they explain why I, you're there? Well, I think... Uh, if I'm Danny DeVito, I'm like, I don't want to fucking be part of, like, some douchebag coming in here and giving me a special day of directing. So they probably lied to him and said you were <laughs> dying of something, and you're, like, from Make-A-Wish. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> hello, Mr. DeVito. Uh, oh, hello, young man. How much longer do you have, son? <laughs> <laughs> Violet, why is he giggling? <laughs> because... Fuck you, I have a week to live. I don't know. Let's go <laughs> The guys on the show kept telling me, I went to the set on Thursday, they kept saying, you know, JD's really good. He showed up with some good ideas and he's a good listener. Like you were a different JD. You could <laughs> articulate a few things and you were able to sort of speak their language. Oh, I don't know about all that, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I came, I guess, prepared. I came with a sort of plan and uh, it was executed uh, pretty much close to his. As uh, I, I thought it would be. You know who I am. <laughs> yeah. You know exactly who I am. I'm not J.D. Harmeyer. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> uh, by the way, your greatest role ever is when you do your J.D. impression. Nah, it's just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like, you know. But I know uh, you're upset with J.D. Uh, because he never thanked you uh, for doing an impression of him at the birthday show. You do have resentment. Yes, I did. You did thank him? I, 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 said, uh, it was an, uh, I said it was an honor, uh, and uh, uh, apparently uh, that was ignored. I don't remember that. But I don't know what's going right. on with you two. I hope you work it out. I went to go visit him before I came on the show this right? morning. And he was masturbating in his little cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do your impression when you talked to him? What are you, what are you doing there? What? <laughs> You're not supposed to masturbate like this, like you're rolling it. <laughs> Use one hand like a man. <laughs> well, you're really something the way you work social media. Someone said you were tweeting back and forth with Samantha B. We've gotten to be friendly. Are you direct messaging yes. with JD? I'm sliding into his DMs. You do stay in touch with JD. I do, yeah. I've direct messaged Jamie Schumer before. Oh. Ah. How does that happen? She started following me. JD here. Thanks for fire. Thanks, Shum. <laughs> Through DM, we have been friendly for years and years. He's good, right? He's when good. he writes. It's bright. It's funny. It's quick. It's articulate. I am a much better communicator when I'm not staring at someone. You become Brad Pitt on Twitter. <laughs> He's better on texting. He does have a terrible handshake. It, it's like you can 
feel how many times he's jerked off. Yeah. That's the only part of his body has any muscle. Yeah. <laughs> you are in a text chain with Hollywood writers, and what are you texting? It's mostly about movies and what, what DVDs they got. Fascinating. <laughs> You're the person whose name comes up most as a name drop from this show. Really? <laughs> People's way into this show is that they know JD. You're friends with Natalie Maines from the Dixie Chicks? Whenever we see a documentary, we text each other about it. Fucking lunatic. <laughs> O.J. Simpson followed me on Twitter. O.J. only follows 34 people, and J.D. is one of them. I think you secretly love it. No, I don't. Your... No, I do not. Hey, look out. Samantha B. was up here doing some stuff for us. She saw J.D., and they had a conversation, and we were lucky enough to tape it. Oh. And it's every bit as awkward as you think it would be. <laughs> Hi, it's really nice to see so, you. Uh, yeah. I think that we can have a normal conversation. <laughs> I'll, I'll make this. <laughs> God, I don't even know if I should bring this up. Uh-oh, uh, okay. Hit me. You know, on the way... Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Maybe I shouldn't say this. Okay. <laughs> no, say it. We're 13 seconds in. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> he's mumbling about. <laughs> like, she goes, hey, JD, it's really nice to see you. And you go, oh, yeah. My brain locks up or whatever, and I can't... Whatever. I, I just don't know what to say at certain times, I'm or there. I can't physically say it. She goes, hey, nice to see you. You don't think to say nice to see you, too? No. For whatever reason, I feel weird saying it. I don't know. On the way to go to your show, I ended up seeing like a dead body on the sidewalk. What? Like someone had just jumped the... off a building. Oh my <laughs> <Yeah>. God! <laughs> <They> were... <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh -oh. what are you laughing about? <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. Because it was just awkward, and I didn't. It was. You know, I laugh when it's awkward. <laughs> I, it was really weird. Like I had to go to your show, so I basically <laughs> walked by. You were like, I'm just gonna walk Listen, past no, the scene of this crime. I, I saw other people contacting police. Sure. And There's stuff. only so much you can do. Yes. The guy was... Oh, my <laughs> I don't want to give... I don't want to say... Were, what you I saw. were you shaken? Was it oh, yeah. horrible? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. How's your day so far? <laughs> this is 100% the highlight of <laughs> Oh, wow. Now I just feel like, bad for you. This is the highlight. The highlight. No. All right. I got to go now. Th th this, this, that's it. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> I got to go. Thank you. <laughs> nice seeing you again. Nice to see you. How come we had to duck out so fast? I can't sit there all day. <laughs> wow. Do you have actual feelings, JD? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I, yeah, I, I can. I get uh, the most all the time. Arker, 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 so arker, how did you arker. feel seeing Samantha B? It was very nice to see her. That would have been a thing to say. But yeah, okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> Monday morning quarterback <laughs> there. <laughs> Eric Andre, like every year for his birthday, has a birthday party that he sells tickets to. It's a show. Uh huh. JD and Blit, right? You guys went. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So he rents out this knockdown center in Queens, packs in 3,000 people. The party gets set up like a music festival with a main stage, a bunch of smaller areas to check out. Mm -hmm. And then he has things like a torture room with people mm -hmm. performing bondage and discipline. As soon as they arrived, John tried to take JD into the torture room. It was guarded by a woman with a bull whip. Let's go. I'm not getting whipped. You're not going to get I'm whipped. I'm not even looking back here. We could get easily killed. I don't want to get whipped. It's for your job. You're allowed to go there. I don't care. I'm not going back. Come on. You got to be the first to go. No. <laughs> no, I don't. It's for your job. No, it's not for my job. Be brave. <laughs> Just come on. You guys have kind of a sub-dom relationship. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're always torturing JD. <laughs> then JD interviewed Eric Andre after his big set on stage. What do you what do you need me to say? How are you feeling? What, what is feel the great. feeling right now? All my orifices are wide open. Yes, I've seen you offer yourself to many yeah, women. Yeah, I always offer you all my holes. <laughs> I know you don't wash your bed sheets, but I offer you all my holes. The guy's got to clean up his act. It's your night. No, it's your night. No, no, I'm your wingman. I'm here to set you up. <laughs> What do you need, ketamine? I'm not doing anything. I had <laughs> no, we're going to drug you tonight. No, I I, yeah, I'm we got to drug you tonight. Drug. No, no, no. Anybody can hear me drug JD tonight. Just give him whatever he, whatever he doesn't want. Give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back tomorrow. JD's going to smoke weed for the first time. He's never smoked weed? Never in how his whole life. How old is he? He's 56 <laughs> years old. No, how old is he, JD? He's 39. He's 39? Yeah. Let Jennifer see him. Give him some advice. You're going to smoke weed for the first time? Uh, yes, I'm 39 years old. You really haven't? Yeah. I really have not. Look at him. <laughs> you have any advice for him? Just pace yourself.
A couple of hits. A <laughs> couple of hits. And see what happens. Is it going to be the worst day of your life or the best day of your oh, life? Thank right. you. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll live. What <laughs> should he be smoking? The first time smoker, Seth. I think for someone who just never smokes weed, you might want to start with something strong to make sure you actually feel something, feel something yeah. because you might not. But again, one yeah. fucking yes. hit. Yes. If you hit this <laughs> motherfucker one time, yeah. your bitch ass going to be done. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be done. This is unbelievable. Yeah, you hear me? We trying to get your motherfucking mind right. We want to get you right. When you I, smoke this shit, everything going to change. Your fee for appearance is going to change. Your, your style of women going to change. Your hair going to get long. By the way, I should mention, JD is wearing a special shirt for his introduction. I was keeping up with the theme today. I wore a plant. He says his plants on cactus. It's a cactus. 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 Snoop, what's with this shirt? I mean, he put a four-leaf clove on that motherfucker. <laughs> something that we recognize. <laughs> Ain't no cactus in the hood, cuz. So, uh, the JD, this is your yes. moment. You, you got two experts here. Is there anything you want to know? Yeah, you know, some people were saying doing indica because of sat uh, sativa will like help the paranoia go. Because I can That's get possible. paranoid. This is the main thing. Don't think. Yeah. Just have a good time and just enjoy. Like, when you think, that's when the shit go wrong, because then you start thinking about stupid shit, like, why is my heart beating fast? Yeah. <laughs> why are they looking at me? Why? Why? <laughs> I don't know if I sound like that, exactly. <laughs> so go into a wood. I'm finna get my dick sucked. Right. And then, it, and, and then it's right. a different emotion, go, you know what I'm saying? Go into every situation with that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that, that is, but you know what, Seth? You are, you're laughing at JD like he's a bitch a little bit, right? <laughs> okay, I would right. say it is arguably hilarious <laughs> for a 30 nine-year-old person <laughs> with the job you have surrounded by the people you're surrounded with to be so afraid of taking one hit a week. Well, <laughs> yourself. You know, we've introduced yeah. them to a lot. Like, you got laid the first time on this show, right? We got <laughs> sure. you laid, right? We don't need to go through my whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> we got laid. What'd it feel like? <laughs> <I'm> great. <laughs> What's your pull-out game like? You wearing a rubber? <laughs> so, yeah, of course. No, you, oh, you didn't get none then. <laughs> 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 you ain't been laid yet. <laughs> no one on my staff ever dates anyone famous. I try with my guys. When we had Chloe Kardashian here, she had the paparazzi waiting for her. And I said, Chloe, would it be okay if JD walked out with you and held your hand? Because we could start a rumor that JD's going out with you. <laughs> and she goes, sure. Did you see the latest JD from the Howard Stern show? Like, we tried to get something going. JD's holding her hand the whole time. Not one fucking newspaper reported it. No, no pictures. Like, she even hugged me. <laughs> she tried to sell it more. She hugged me, too. And nothing. <laughs> even the press looked at JD and went, there's no fucking way. Then I tried to set you up with Elliot Spitzer's gal, Ashley Dupre. Did you date JD? Oh, no, no. Yeah, she's seen JD? JD's super hot. Hi, JD. <laughs> look at you. JD, look at her. Here's some of your personality. I, I don't... I, I, <laughs> Oh boy. I don't know what type of guys you're into or whatever. I would take you out to like uh, a date or something if you want. I don't know. I will give you my business card, which also has the greatest gift ever, which is my cell phone number on the back. I love that. I don't know. I, okay. I, I came up with that. JD was on his date with Ashley Dupre. He made the lead story on TMZ. <laughs> JD, oh. what's up, bro? Dude, I'm a huge fan okay, of you, JD. All right, calm down. Oh my god. All right. That was good. Calm down, asshole. <laughs> By the way, you know who's in love with Mel B? Who? JD, oh, who yes, works he for us. That. I love JD. Hey, hey JD, you want to meet Mel B? No, he doesn't want to meet me. He will. <laughs> she has curves in all the right places. <laughs> She's the hottest Spice Girl. Thank you for the compliment. I love you, Melvin. Yeah. I saw on the NewYorkPost.com, oh they had a big picture with you and Jennifer Aniston. It was the most surreal thing, and you guys were featured together. Like, you're almost like a couple. Now. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? This is the start. I'd like to apologize to Jennifer Aniston. J.D. and J.A. Everybody in the Stern universe loves J.D. and sees him as like a little brother. I have a tender place in my heart for you. Does that make you feel weird? No, not at all. You entertain me greatly. He loves J.D. I love you, J.D. <laughs> I love him. Oh. I love him. Hey, big round of applause for JD. <laughs> yeah, I need applause. Thank you. Good for you, dude. Woo.